right, so if, if you're building your app radio into the Saab 9.5 like I am, um, you'll be wanting to put your um, GPS antenna up on the dashboard. That's that black box just there, nice and neat. Um, and I have the um, uh, microphone just sitting up on the driver's side there. Um, I also have the all the cables that are coming out the back of the radio are going in the center console into the armrest which is where my my phone is um, and you have amongst all the other rubbish um, additional USB so I've got two USB connections in here as well so if I wanted to have USB sticks with audio or video on them and I can just stick them in there um, but this uh, this is fine for sticking my phone in as well um, and then I can control my phone from the radio itself. So this is the radio. Um, you have, with, this is without the phone connected to it. So without the phone connected to it, it's extremely basic, very, very basic indeed. You have, um, obviously you have the radio, which is this here, um, and that will give you um, programmable uh, radio stations here. Um, as simple as you can obviously tune it manually if you need to do it here but it um, has all the radio data etc here volume control is here then you can press go back to the desktop here iPod um, I don't use Apple stuff so but if you did um, you connect the iPod to the USB connectors and then that would show up but at the moment it won't do anything apps is um, if you have an iPhone iPod or um, Android phone attached to it Bluetooth, now it's already connected to my phone because my phone is within the vicinity of the car but um, this will give you the ability to um, stream audio, Bluetooth audio from the phone. So that, this is without any apps, without having it connected to the radio at all. Um, if you play music on your phone and whilst it's connected wirelessly via Bluetooth then it will pump through here and the next and back tracks will work with compatible apps on the phone. Now. This is an Android phone, obviously. Um, to use Android, um, you need to have the MHL adapter, okay? Now, I mistakenly, as I said, bought the very expensive um, Pioneer one um, because that's what was advised by Pioneer. Um, but as I say, it's not compatible with my phone. If you do have a, um, a, a phone that does have five pins, um, then it will be fine, but obviously mine doesn't. So I will just connect this up. Right, so that's the HDMI cable now plugged into the phone. Um, now, once you've done this, you need to start the app. Now I have the Unchained, the App Radio Unchained app. So this is what we use, we need to use, and you click start. Now once you've done that, on the radio, the apps button will become available. And it will say um, some crap, which you can just ignore. And then it will show the swaps on the screen of the phone. And if you just touch the screen, it will, um, the phone will detect that it's connected and it will say, uh, negotiating there we go so now it's connected so now I can actually control my phone from my uh, app radio uh, now the brilliant thing about this is I can literally do everything um, got Google Maps um, now Google Maps will use the GPS system um, from that's built into the actual app radio, as you can see there. It will use that. Um, I also have, um, from audio point of view, um, SoundCloud. So I can literally just select any any audio track, and it will play. Um, and it, this it will work 
the speed of the phone that you connect. So if you have a fast phone, it will react and do everything you want extremely quickly indeed, um, without waiting. Um, as the um, phone that I'm using um, is extremely fast, then everything will happen immediately. Um, and obviously Facebook and other apps will work. Um, this is full mirror mode. Um, in, it has the best of both worlds because you get to control your phone but because obviously my phone is in the armrest, so when I'm when I'm driving, for example, it will just be uh, sitting in there like that, with the armrest open, completely uh, invisible. Um, the um, the GPS obviously can't work whilst it's in the armrest. So what happens is it reverts to the head unit's own GPS system, but using the phone's GPS app. So I have obviously Google Maps, um, and I have. Um, uh, co-pilot as well um, installed on this um, and some other things as well so um, they will utilize the um, GPS system built into the radio itself you'll have to buy like this app that I'm using app radio unchained this is a chargeable app um, but it is worth the money I mean this this head unit without this app is useless you can't control your phone you're limited to specific apps like Waze. You can't even use um, proper Google Maps um, without um, Unchained, without using this Unchained. So um, yeah, absolutely brilliant, brilliant radio. 